Hello, spellers. Welcome to Thursday's spelling lesson. We are today on February. Remember, two is our month for February. The 4th of February already today in the year 2021. It is spelling lesson number 68 today. Ready? Our first word, remember, challenge, try writing it in cursive. Right? This is a great way to write, get better is by continuing to practice. Our first word today is section. Now remember, if you're making that N off the O, that first camel hump is sort of just that tail off the O. And then the second camel hump. Go back and cross the T and dot the I in the word section. <clears throat> section. Right. Most of us are probably still in the first section of our notebook, but we're getting close to the middle of it. Section. All right, pause for a moment. Analyze the word section. All right, section is a two-syllable word. Our first syllable is s-e-k. It's all first sounds, right? First sound of the s-z, first sound of the e, and first sound of the k. So sec. And our second syllable is our most common spelling of shun. Sec shun. I bet you remember to underline that sh tall letter sh. Say that phonogram with me again. Multiple letter phonogram. Ready? Sh tall letter sh. Sec shun. Right? Sh uh, mm, section. And oh, are you remembering the rule? Every time we have sh, tall letter sh, it is one of the dun, 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 guys in the middle. Scholars, you are getting so good at these. I bet you could teach the spelling lesson. Section. <clears throat> All right, scholars, our next word is the word entire. Not in-tire, entire. Eh, n, and then tire, like the tire on your bicycle. The tire on your skateboard. The tire on your car. The tire on your llama. But wait, wait. Llamas don't have tires. They have legs. Scratch that. Entire. Entire. Scholars, be careful on this one when you analyze it, because sometimes people think it's entire. Right? It's not like er, the er of her. The word is entire. Entire. Go ahead. Pause. Analyze entire. All right, let's check your analysis. I've been waiting this entire time. Entire, how many syllables? Right, two. The first syllable is e eh of e, eh e, and then n, mm, e, eh, n. Mm. Finger space, then t, i, r. Right? This i, i, e is saying its name sound, right? Entire, entire. Oh, but can you tell we don't yet have the entire word written? We need that silent final E to have the entire word. So our question really is, which silent final E rule is it? Check your analysis. Did you say it was the VCE rule? That would be correct. So vowel, consonant, Right, vowel saying its name sound, consonant, silent E. Entire. The villainous E, wanting to take over the entire world.
entire. Hmm. Hopefully that does not happen. Entire. Perhaps you can relate to that idea. Are you interested in taking over the entire world? Can you relate to that villainous E? Our next word, I just used a couple times in what I was saying, is relate. Relate. So scholars, this one's going to have a couple rules when you analyze it. Re and late. Relate. All right. Let's check your analysis. How many syllables in relate? Did you say two? That would be correct. So scholars, our first syllable is r e, right? An e eh, e saying its name sound. Scholars, we had this syllable yesterday in rep re zend, represent, re late, re. Then our second syllable is the word late. Don't be late for the morning meeting. Late. Ooh. Vowel saying its name sound. Consonant. Silent E. Let's see if you got the two rules. I bet you did well with your markings. Did you get, first of all, the A E O U rule in that first syllable? That's the rule that we have. I mean, whoop, we have right here. Say it with me. A E O and U. Usually say A E O and U at the end of a syllable. Re late. And then a silent final E. Oh, the villainous E. Yet again. Right? Vowel A saying its name sound. Consonant silent E is the VCE rule. Relate. Right? Perhaps you can relate to the villain's plan to take over the entire world one section at a time. Relate. Entire. Section. Wow, scholars. All two syllable words so far. Well, that's about to change. Our last word actually has relate as its root word. So you're going to see many of the same letters at the start. But our last word is relative. Relative. Her relative is very friendly and kind. Relative. Scholars, pause for a moment. Analyze relative. Little hint, it is not a two-syllable word. All right, let's check out that analysis. How many syllables? Three is correct. Our first syllable is r, e, u. So even though it starts the same, right? R, E, L, like relate. R, E, L of relative starts the same. It's not saying E in relative, right? This word's not relative. Rel, finger space, a. That a is a syllable all by itself. I know what you're thinking. How can that be? Well, it is. Rel, a, and then another finger space. T, i, v. Rel, a, tiv. But your relative is probably right now shaking her head saying, oh, tisk, 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 little one. You need a silent final E to have the dictionary spelling of the word relative. Now, you already analyzed. You might have to make a change here. Did you catch that it's a V in front of that E? 
We have not had this rule very often this year, but it is VU rule two. The friendly E, right? That friendly E that knows English words do not end in V or U. So it says, I will be there for you. I will be your friend. I will be at the end of the word for you since you cannot be there. Oh, so friendly. Hopefully, your relatives are that friendly and helpful as well. Relative. Scholars, let's check out that bonus word. So last class, our bonus word was Port-au-Prince. Do you remember which country I said Port-au-Prince is the capital of? It starts with an H. Did that help? It is the country of Haiti. Haiti is the cap or sorry, is the country of which Port au Prince is the capital. So if we take a quick look here at our map, you will probably recall from Tuesday, I pointed out that this pink area right here, this is the country of Haiti, pink on this map. Right? Port au Prince is the capital of Haiti. This side of the island is the Dominican Republic, where Santo Domingo is the capital. Together, this whole island was the island of Hispaniola that Columbus landed on, thinking he was in the East Indies. But he landed there, met the Taino people who were the indigenous people already living here in Hispaniola. Right? It wasn't actually the East Indies or the Spice Islands. It became known instead as a group of islands to the west, right in the Western Hemisphere, called they then called them the West Indies. But Haiti is this pink country right over here. Haiti. Now, scholars, if you would like to, as your own fun optional enrichment, you could down here, right, draw something that you ate the entire thing, right? I ate the entire blank. Right? I'm going to fill in my blank a little bit later and do an illustration with it. Right? What could you eat the entire of? It could be something that you really couldn't possibly actually eat the entire thing. right? Or it could be something that you could eat the entire thing of. To check mine out, you can click on my sample in the post. You are welcome to do this on your own. Remember, it is optional. The required part, the graded part that you must do, open the Google form, answer those five questions, click submit at the bottom of the Google form, get those answers sent to your teacher. That's your graded spelling assignment for today. Now remember, scholars, tomorrow is Friday. We are actually going to tomorrow do a special grammar lesson instead of a spelling lesson. There will be a Google form with some questions to answer still and a video to watch. Be sure to check it out. Thanks for joining me. Have a great afternoon.